Hi all and welcome to the Truth, Honour and Integrity Show. This is tonight on Thanksgiving evening and I hope you all, those the listeners in America, all had a nice and fulfilling and happy family day. My day, um, I slept in for the first time in a long time, uh, till about 10 o'clock. So I, was, I only had a couple of hours work to do today. And um, believe it or not, <laughs> I know this is going to upset uh, many, but uh, between 10 and 12.30 today, I was sunbathing. So uh, <laughs> a nice, pleasant 82 degrees. And so that was um, half of my day today. So I actually got uh, a chance to recharge some of my own batteries. Uh, I'm now recovered from the kidney infection stroke stones I had last week so uh, all's good and uh, which has been ongoing again both uh, in America and globally there's some uh, really extraordinary things going on uh, but um, I think what, what I'd like to cover is people are coming to me and uh, saying things feels different and that's because they are and uh, people haven't just can't put the finger on it it just everything just feels different they can't uh, not sure if it's the frequencies the energies or, or what it is well this is um for those who are not in the movie, as I described in a, uh, the show last week about the two uh, living in two worlds simultaneously currently, there's those who are not in reality, they're playing out in the movie, and those of us who are in reality, who are watching them in disbelief at their stupidity, um, you know, uh, playing along with election games and crying because Hitler he didn't win um, these people need a, a bang upside the head to be quite honest um, but we are returning to a more um, natural organic planet we have been in a hologram we have been in uh, a negative rogue AI system that is not source based and uh, consequently, um, uh, to my knowledge anyway, that is being dealt with currently. Um, we came out of the tube that we were kind of ensconced in over many thousands of years. You can call it a tube, you can call it a portal, a wormhole, a stargate. Either way, we were inside a system. Now, we reported back a few months ago that um, we had come out and free from that system and things would start manifesting in a certain way to those that believe um, and, it, and it is uh, to a degree but um, it's also tipping a lot of people sadly over the edge because as we return to the natural some of the memories return those of you who have past life memories um, or some of the traumas return and, and they all have to be dealt with and that applies to all of us eventually it's like a dark night of the souls where we have to go through uh, a period of um, real reflection not the mirror tech reflection which uh, bounces back into you it's um a going over of where we are who we are and what we are and where we're at currently so this is proven rather difficult to a lot of people and um, the te I termed it the truth trauma there's a lot of truth coming out in the mainstream media um, for people who say nothing's changed um, you, you're really not looking and uh, observing too well mainly because there's too much information coming out so, so that is difficult um, but if, you know we went back to the start of Cosmic Voice which was like three and a quarter years ago 
if the idea of the mainstream media covering the pedophile ring in the White House was a complete no-no and we would have all been jumping through hoops at that information. Well, look what the exposures of the Clintons and the Bushes and the McCains, all in the mainstream. So they're validating what we knew in the alternative media and what we've been telling them over many, many years. That is a sea of change. Now, others will want to see a more dramatic style change. But if people are struggling within themselves with the volume of information now, imagine what would happen if a full-on data dump took place. And... Um, it's, it's going to be difficult for us all because truth does hurt um, you know we all like to say we want this and we want disclosure and no one wants disclosure more than I do you know this is what this show is about um, as well as trying to help people to empower themselves and uh, you know be their own saviour so it's we're in very very strange times where we all know something's but on the uh, the tip of a very tall precipice and we're about to go sliding down it and go wee <laughs> all the way to the bottom and at the bottom is freedom real freedom but real freedom comes from within you're not just giving it you can obtain freedom even in a um, what is largely a psychopathic world by stepping out of their system. Many of you who listen to this show have already stepped outside the matrix. This is why you feel different. This is why your dreams are different. They're more vivid, far more lucid. And this is why some people um, are drifting away from you. You have moved, they never. They are stuck inside the movie. Now, uh, my work with the uh, UPU and the Foundation people, um, they're kind of tired of me saying one thing. But I will stick to it because it's important that we um, have some type of public event that's going to shake out many more that's stuck in the movie currently. There's many sitting on the fence. They are aware of what each and every one of you is telling them. They do know, but it's the fear. The fear of holding your hands up and saying, you know what, I was wrong. The fear of saying, sorry I called you a nut and discarded you. But we all make mistakes in life. But it's how you react to it. Are you going to continue the feud or are you just going to go, okay. You know, I've made mistakes. So uh, why shouldn't I forgive others for making their mistakes? And this is going to be uh, important going forward. So we're kind of heading towards a, um, a return to the natural organic planet. And things will feel different. Um, you won't be able to put your finger on it. Uh, I can't. I can feel it. There's a serenity and a calm. And it's just a very strange vibration and that's the best I can put it into words it just feels very odd but also very uh, serene and calming now the fact that we're experiencing that tells you there is the wind of change the wind of change is happening right in front of your face 
and yes we all want to see certain things fixed and chemtrails and standing rock and the sod air and mass arrest and all the other stuff right out in the public but this show has told you and has been proven over time that things are actually taking place and being done in, in a very quiet manner so as to not cause chaos in what is already a chaotic world now many um, uh, people who go on uh, alternative media mention about source um, they mention about AI my opinion is the AI current AI that was operating around this planet and solar system is now defunct it's operational to a point where it has or it can't do what it was doing previously which was overriding the source AI now this is just my theory if it fits in with what you, you think or when it resonates with you that's fine but my theory is the source AI is not a machine it's not a he it's not a she it's just it now the AI in essence is the people and the beings and the plants and the mammals and the birds and the reptilians and the greys and the mantids and all the other species it's the collective consciousness now people think well source should fix the dark and fix the bad um, but that then is it not implementing another control system where everyone has to be good is that a good thing some would say yes some would say no but then you can't have light without the dark and vice versa and it's all about returning to the balance now what we've had here and many other systems throughout the universe is a group of um, ETs thinking they are source and they've been running around to many systems playing the gods these are the gods or god or gods that we as humans have been praying to whether people like that idea or not it is what it is they tried to cheat the system trying to cheat death so they can continue their control program so then they set up a mimic AIs mirror tech you heard me mention of this, of this before but it looks like the original but it's not now this particular AI all it knows is what we the people and some of the reptilians and the Draco etc have put into it and all we've put into it is anger hatred divide and conquer war aggression violence destruction how is it supposed to react different and we're all responsible for that you know some people don't like that but each and every one of us is responsible when we're talking about um, illegal aliens there's no such thing as an illegal alien when you're living on your own planet <coughs> there's no such thing as an immigrant how can you be an immigrant on your own planet that type of thinking whilst it's been part of the program of the cabal it doesn't mean to say that we have to participate in it I highlighted a story a number of months ago 
about what happened in the floods in Louisiana where people black, white, Hispanic, male, female, straight, gay, lesbian, transgender, whatever all came together they didn't wait for the government they didn't wait for the federal uh, system they fixed it themselves nobody remembered whether those Mexicans were illegal or not nobody even thought about it it was all about people joining up together caring and sharing and community based help and support for each other it's only when you come away from that that you allow yourself to talk in the terms of illegals or immigrants we don't want no Syrians or we don't want this or we don't want Puerto Ricans in our country they don't respect our culture well who set the culture they did because then it becomes divide and conquer again something else to divide and conquer create different cultures create different languages create different religions it's all the same game but at the end of the day they can keep setting all these games and programs but that doesn't mean to say we have to comply with them just doesn't so collectively we have a responsibility and yes I'm fully aware and, uh, that there has been um, implications in here where the odds were stacked heavily stacked in not only this system but the whole universe as I understand it it was 87% dark and they thought it couldn't be saved some thought differently and came in and attempted to rescue it those people were correct because um, solar system by solar system is being swept clean not just sweeping out the dark re-educating a cabal person is just a good person that's gone the wrong way a good person could also be a bad person if they go the wrong way it's in each and every one of us so we've also learnt that the cabal have been lied to left right and centre also much to their chagrin so are they totally the bad guys or have they in essence in, a, in an overview point of view I must stress that there's no some, some take it the wrong way in an overview point of view given we are creator beings taught us the biggest lesson ever is that when we return to source and come back to be creator beings how not to be are we going to turn into God stroke gods or are we going to be different because we've seen the consequences of what's taking place here so yes in all the heinousness and some of the um, real bad stuff they've done in essence they've taught us a rapid pace lesson whether they see it that way is another matter it's something we should consider going forward those lessons learned on a soul level will be beneficial to all of us how not to act and be with other people how not to abuse 
technology. Technology has led to our downfall and theirs because they haven't learned to balance it. Now, in all, uh, Drake has been uh, promising that we were going to get this tech and healing tech and this tech and that tech and many others, not just Drake. But to me, the judgment of it is is it beneficial to humanity or is it not? If it's not beneficial to humanity, then it should be scrapped. Because that then sends you down a path where it can, that particular te- type of technology can be abused. So the AI is now learning that not everyone wants to divide and conquer. Not everyone wants violence. Um, not not everyone wants to uh, play service to self. We, we in the Western world have spent the last 30, 40 years playing service to self. Jack the lad, as they call it in the UK, looking after number one and bugger the rest of them. You know, Thatcher started it in Britain back in the 70s. You know, a dog-eat-dog world. That's not the way to be. I've mentioned many, many times about competing with each other. We compete with our friends. We compete with our family members. We compete with our neighbours or our work colleagues. Better this, better that. Now, how about a better person? Not how many houses you've got or how many cars you've got or how much money you make. They don't uh, dictate how good a person you are inside. Just doesn't. You know, we've spoke on this show about doing the shadow work. I'm pleased to have spoken to a number of the members recently who have all uh, thanked me for starting that so far back because I knew what was coming. I said this year will be the year of the apocalypse, which is to reveal the hidden. Well, much has been revealed. And much of it was hidden. And I said it would get confusing and convoluted. And boy has it got confusing and convoluted. Next year will be different again. Because once the light has been shined on the hidden. That's the end. They will not dim the light. The light will only increase. And as the light increases, we will see and reveal all. This is what's coming up next year. Not saying things won't take place between now and the end of this year. But I think next year could be rather extraordinary on many levels. Do I think we'll get ET disclosure next year? Maybe. More likely not. Do I think we'll get um, small D disclosure? I think it's ramping up already. Some notice it, some don't. Some are still stuck in the movie and can't see anything. (laughs) But the stupidity they put out on TV... But it's it's all lit, and I'm going to continue to pester those who have the clout or word with all to make the difference and make the changes for a full-on 
public event whatever that entails that's going to rescue some from their own insanity of still being stuck in the movie there's no need to be stuck in the movie anymore Matrix is open step outside whole new world for everyone just because some people feel it don't kind of feel bad in yourself that maybe you're not everyone it comes to everyone at different times we're not all the same technically we're all one but we're not all the same So there's a lot to be encouraged by. It um, hasn't been some of the full-on drama uh, that perhaps our listeners were familiar with, with the mass arrests and this and that. But I did warn back in May we would not likely see that take place in that format as it was laid out. It would be nice, but it would also lead to catastrophe. 80% losses on both sides. I was discussing this uh, recently. And someone said to me, you know, it, it could get dodgy in Florida because they could declare martial law and this and that. And I thought, well, if it is, it is. I don't believe uh, for one minute they're going to wheel out martial law I don't think me personally don't think it will be allowed so people can keep spouting their fear porn about martial law and I'm going to keep counteracting and saying it won't be allowed furthermore they haven't got the funds to carry it out <laughs> I'll cover more on that soon. You'd be, uh, <laughs> they'll be, uh, uh, maybe asking the foundation people for a loan soon. They're that desperate. Um, only with severe conditions. They uh, refused our offers in the past. We won't be as um, forthcoming next time. So, I hope that uh, covers some of the, what uh, some of you are experiencing. Trying to wake people up at this time now is a complete waste of time. It's too late. They need a shock event of some description. And you're not to be that shock event. what you need to be is just stay within yourself if you have dealt with your shadow work good on you stay in an inner calm and an outer calm there's not as much of an issue to do with louche as there was in the past but still heightened uh, heightened uh, sense of feelings where you get too depressed or too excited is still a loose form those that remain calm can't be loosed this is why they create chaos and panic and fear just um, like the food of life to them but their days of creating that fear panic and chaos is crumbling right before them in recent shows I've mentioned the word or two words it failed it failed it failed um, largely now what they're doing is counteracting our moves the people's moves so in essence now they're on the defensive they're not attacking no more because they can't 
that is a massive sea of change up till five years ago um, certainly up till 2012 they just did what they wanted some people will say they're still doing what they wanted it's um, not the way it was it's just diminishing by the week and even the day Yes, they'll throw chemtrails about, but they also find out that a lot of them has been negated. It's a pointless exercise, eventually. The public have turned against their Monsanto food in many, many countries. Again, that's a sea of change. In many countries, they've had it banned. Who did that? It wasn't the UBU or the Foundation people. It was the people. Like I've always said, it's the people that have the power. We've just forgotten it. We play into the fear program. Once fear goes, then your capabilities of what you can do increase rapidly. You are then become free within your own self you stop worrying what other people think of you because you're a quote unquote conspiracy theorist then you've f free yourself from their system if it bothers you that a family member calls you a conspiracy theorist or not you're still in, partly in their system this is who you are and this is who you choose to be not to conform what they want nobody's here to conform to anybody as the piece at the end of the, of the I do at the end of the show you're here to be the best you can be as the crown of creation not to conform or fit in with anybody else no that's not freedom that's a box system freedom is you going out and being the best you can be without the baggage of other people dragging you down putting you into labels putting you into boxes you now have the choice to go which way and be who you wish to be so I hope that's uh, covered a few things and uh, we'll have more in, in other shows as uh, things crop up but I know some of you have been struggling in different ways uh, we all are in, in many aspects as memories return as strange vibrations return and things are going to feel rather odd but don't worry and don't panic things are looking good right let's get into uh, some news um, we're talking about um, let's go into this one first this may take us up to the hour we were talking about an event um, and I've been pushing for that and pushing and pushing maybe on December the 4th we'll create our own event Uh, for those of you unfamiliar December the 4th um, there will be a march of hundreds of US veterans and they will muster at the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation in North Dakota their mission is to completely stop the Dakota Access Pipeline now this is again what we've been calling for 
I myself have been highly critical of the militia, um, including playing the Toy Soldier song, <laughs> which upset uh, quite a few of them. But you can't on the one hand says we're ready for you, brother. I got Rick Light to Drake, and then when he asks, says, "Oh, we're not doing that. It's illegal." Um, not really. It's illegal what they're doing. Stealing people's lands and stealing people's water. That's illegal. So, the fact that the veterans have decided that they're going to do something about it is evidence that finally the American people have got built up sufficient kahunas to go and take the system on what we need is as many people who live in the area to attend on the same day all the militias and then if we get that shut down we have a full on empowerment of the people the cabal then know it's game over so I'm appealing to all the militia people in the region including those just across the border in Canada go down to the North Dakota Standing Rock and support the American people the Native Americans what has been encouraging of course the peace treaty enabled much of that is the support of all the tribes this is your time to get your land back that has been stolen by largely Europeans which most of us who listen to this show are anyway or descendants of and I hope Mr Trump is instructed that he puts in a Native American in his cabinet or some important post he can't have a new government of the people and not have a representative of the originals so this um, Wes Clark Jr. declared most civilians have never uh, never served in a new uniform are kind of gutless who have never been in a fight in their life so if we don't stop it, who will? Mr. Clark is one of the most vociferous opponents of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which is a controversial 1170 mile project that even when completed will shuttle an estimated 470,000 barrels of crude oil every day from North Dakota to Illinois. It's funny they can do 1170 miles of oil pipeline and produce 470,000 barrels per day and yet they can't do a couple of hundred miles pipeline to supply water to the whole of the southwest of America it's all about priorities isn't it for them well it's time we reminded them of our priorities not theirs most of us now recognise there is alternatives to oil and most of us now recognise that the fact that we don't wish to see oil being used in the way it is anymore all the drilling all the destroying of the land you know it makes you laugh well it doesn't make you laugh it makes you cry actually uh, when they're talking about the environment when these very same people are destroying it daily with these drilling and fracking 
for resources we don't even need. So when these clowns are talking about climate change and environment and all this, they're the ones responsible for it. Not the people. People want the new tech. We want the free energy devices. So then we're not destroying the environment or creating climate change because there's, in inverted commas, too many people on the planet. Now there's too many 1% on the planet. Subsequently he went on, he said, it's completely immoral and wrong and dangerous to, uh, to us all. Um, Mr. Clark is not your traditional tree hugger mold, as described by the media, and he's certainly not a hippie, nor is he a member of the Lakota or Dakota tribes, which are the two Native American groups known collectively as the Sioux. But he's actually a former army officer and the organiser of an, of an up-and-coming three-day deployment of U.S. military veterans to the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation in uh, North Dakota. So this um, standoff has been escalating for months now between law enforcement and backed security contractors, ACA, Rothschilds, mercenaries, Yes, you again, Mr. Hook knows. And uh, activists that has so far resulted in multiple injuries, including uh, a six-year-old girl being shot in the face, from what I gather. That's really uh, nice of them, isn't it? Not. And uh, more than 500 arrests just for standing there and um, exerting your right as an American to protest what they're telling you is that you don't have that right you don't like what we say we shoot you in the face really well these people I hope that many go ahead and support them the whole country should turn out as many as possible what are they going to do shoot a million people if a million people turned, turned up and edged forward one step at a time are they going to shoot everyone no that's how you end it that's how you would end area 51 you get a million people who uh, want ET disclosure and just march up the path, lock the gates down and keep on marching. Are they going to do anything? Are they going to shoot everyone? No. So you see, we do have the power once we get over the fear of them. Oh, um, apparently this uh, is now a United Nations investigation of potential human rights abuses. You know, um, America's, or the government anyway, is being fond of highlighting other countries and abuses of human rights. There's been just as much, if not more, abuses of human rights over the past 60, 70 years than any other country bar none when people find out about Northwoods and all the other stuff that went on the spraying of whole populations of biochemicals and all kinds of uh, virals just to see how people in the war zone would react to it on their own people so we this country has um, no right to turn around to another country and tell them about potential human rights abuses. When the public find out about the depth of that alone, there'll be uproar. So 
it's abuse of human rights that under 60 percent of your budget goes on violence when there's people starving that's an abuse of human rights as we ask the people do they want their sons and daughters stationed in 180 countries around the world they'll all tell you no so that's abusing human rights so according to uh, an operations order for the planned engagement posted to social media in mid-November first Americans have served in the United States military defending the soil of our homelands at a greater percentage than any other group of Americans but there's no other people more deserving of veteran support so again that is a sea of change it's different to what you expected it may be but that is a change in the people deciding enough is enough what it leads to eventually I could lead us to us all obtaining our freedom back you can't obtain freedom back by sitting there and ignoring everything that's going on like the clowns in still stuck in the movie here's another potential uh, change on Thursday in the house it passed legislation that would allow congress to overturn in a single vote any regulations finalized in the last days of the Obama administration so that's all the dodgy executive orders that he's been forced into signing but the, not all of them is uh, his fault um, I'm not totally exonerating them but not, not all is uh, his fault despite democratic opposition the Midnight Rule Relief Act passed largely along party lines by a 240 to 179 vote the bill would amend the Congressional Review Act to allow Congress to overturn many rules all at once by the way of a resolution. Uh, Republican in Virginia urged his colleagues on the floor Thursday to pass the legislation and tell the American people that lawmakers heard them on election day loud and clear. The American people have said no to the continuance of the Obama administration policies and this bill guarantees that Congress can prevent any and all last minute defiance of the people's will by midnight regulations that stubbornly seem to entrench the last pieces of the administration's bipartisan agenda. So those of you who are thinking maybe he will pardon um, Android and the husband um, if the people decide that that's not valid it will be overturned it's still on the agenda despite what the media is trying to uh, portray Clinton investigation is ongoing So House Republicans are doing everything in their power to keep the Obama administration from enacting any new rules in its final days. Um, earlier in the week, House Majority Leader warned the federal agencies in a letter to not finalise any pending rules or regulations from now to the inauguration. Those that are, he assured, will be scrutinised and if appropriate overturned null and void while the bill targets rules finalised in the lame duck period between election day and January the 20th um, the Republican Hank Johnson argues its reach now is much further and they, despite the bill's colourful title he said the legislation allows Congress 
to overturn, listen to this clearly, to overturn rules as far back as last May. So you know all those dodgy executive orders? Bye. Again, that is a sea of change, a wind of change. Right, um, well, that hour went quick. Uh, we're going to have a couple of songs, and I'll be back with more news and some Intel updates and see if we can get through any questions. Um, we got some sad news again. Um, seems to be... Uh, happening far too often but it is what it is and uh, this next song is going out to Tanique and her family uh, Tanique lost her uh, brother this week um, Erwine I hope I pronounced that correctly and uh, I'm sure uh, all the members will send their condolences to Tanique, she's quite a popular member from Holland on the page and I'm sure she'll see him again that was in condolences to Tanique and all her family from all of us at THI stay strong girl you know we're with you hi all and welcome back on this what is this Thanksgiving evening show uh, apologies for the noise in the background. No, somebody's not being murdered. We just have a very rowdy group of uh, Hispanics living close by who are partying in the street. So uh, I could shut the door, but it's a bit warm at the moment. <laughs> Unlike other regions of the country, it's still a bit warm here. It's, a, it's that time of year again when everyone hates Floridians. Um, sorry about that. And particularly the Brits. <laughs> Sorry, Victoria. Um, right, let's get into some more uh, encouraging news. And it is encouraging in many ways. Um, I mentioned recently about uh, California um, trying to succeed. And that is now gaining strength. They're submitting a proposed ballot measure to the state's attorney general office in the hopes of a statewide vote as soon as 2018 the point being is whether that succeeds or not the point being is people are actually unhappy en masse again that is a sea of change that's my new word for this week the sea of change so people start to grasp and seeing that people are waking up and not just sitting there on the computer or sitting on the bus watching uh, football they're actually going out and trying to make the changes themselves ultimately we are the change one of the things I wanted to mention in the first hour in the 40s, early 50s uh, the agencies came up with the term conspiracy theorist they knew there would be a future event where a mass of people would obtain information from a network source i.e. the internet they knew it was coming up and eventually people would meet up like minded instead of being hidden in all corners of towns and cities they're suddenly all linked up via the internet so they termed it a conspiracy theorist which has kind of been the stick to beat us all with now the new age people who are also part of the agency program not all of them most are completely oblivious to it but going along with it but a new term has come up in the last couple of years uh, called the saviour program 
it is my belief that that is being used against us also now the reason being anyone who steps forward to help is classed as being in a saviour program automatically it discounts or discredits people should be aware of these terminologies that they push forward into the public view and certainly into the alternative media the reality is each and every one of us is a saviour program we have to save ourselves the only issue becomes when certain individuals some of which you'll know I'm not going to give names but you'll all know certain names pass themselves off as the saviour there is no the or I we are the saviour program for humanity each and every one of us so I'm asking people in the alternative media to be careful with their terminology it's demeaning and it's discrediting to the people who have stepped up and stepped forward to just label them saviour programmes because the people who are saying that should also be the saviour programme instead of labelling other people it's time to join the group of humanity so that's another encouraging thing that the Californians are standing up and saying we're not putting up with the federal control and all the uh, bullshittery that goes on and uh, we're going to take action ourselves good stuff um, Donald Trump released a video on Monday in case you're worrying like the media why Mr Trump is not being seen too often there is two, two of him one with the blue tie and one with the red tie not the same due to threats upon his person so that is why Trump is um, largely out of the public eye the hair colour is slightly different if you look closely um, laying out actions what he'll take on his first day in office on January 20th including withdrawing America from the Trans-Pacific Partnership trade deal as I understand it it's been shut down it will be ratified in January um, he's also gone on to say he would issue a rule cutting government regulations direct the Labour Department to investigate abuses of visa programmes and cancel some restrictions on energy production including shale oil gas and coal so there's some of the things to look forward to in January there's a lot more to look forward to that will roll out and may be able to say a few things between now and the end of the year but there's a lot of things ongoing at the moment that will be rolled out on January the 1st 2017 is going to be a rather good year so announced this week that um, uh, Melania Trump is not uh, going to be in the White House she's staying in New York instead those years who listen to this show every week can put two and two together why that is the case agent um, going against um, previous directives and rules Pope Francis has named 17 new cardinals in the Roman Catholic Church 
from all around the world, many of whom will help choose his successor. The new cardinals come from five different continents, including the Vatican's envoy to Syria. Um, the range of backgrounds represents a complete break with custom. Again, things happen in different. Um, Pope Francis has also now chosen to close to a third of the College of Cardinals who will ultimately pick who succeeds him if there is going to be a successor I wouldn't be too sure only Cardinals under the age of 80 can vote on the next Pope and 13 of those named Cardinals on Saturday are under 80 and are now eligible to succeed him this is the third time in three years that Pope Francis the first Latin American Pope has named new cardinals again it's a break with custom and again it's a break with tradition and he has used each opportunity to pr promote more members from outside the college's traditional European base Aha black nobility is what he's getting at there those of you who know the control structure of the Vatican will know exactly what I mean by that um, I mentioned recently um, about a bill uh, that would let men off who assaulted underage girls if they marry their victims in Turkey well the people decided they weren't going to put up with that and the people have won out in Turkey and the um, legislation has been cancelled so um, again it's people power um, Michael Flynn was um, appointed as US National Security Advisor this week which is a remarkable change in fortunes for uh, Mr. Flynn who was sacked two years ago from his post as a Pentagon Intelligence Chief the retired US Army three star Lieutenant General was one of Donald Trump's closest advisors and most ardent supporters during the campaign they both met up with Japan's Ch uh, Shinzo Abe recently we'll have more on that soon uh, Mr. Finn complained he was fired from the Defense Intelligence Agency in 2014 for telling hard truths about the war on Islamist extremism in other words how bogus ISIS is and all the rest and uh, he believed that the US is losing a global war against Islamist extremism that may last for generations no it won't they're getting routed by the Iraqi army as mentioned on this show three weeks ago they're getting decimated no funding for ISIS anymore and no, no, none of our tax dollars is going on ISIS anymore as well um, but insiders suggested that Mr Flynn's exit at the uh, Department of Intelligence may have been related to his unpopular overhaul of the agency in other words he was routing out some of the clowns um, and so that's Mr. the new National Security Advisor for America Michael Flynn we wish him well routing out more of the clowns um, last piece of news before we get on to some intel and then some questions uh, Evo Morales uh, who is the Bolivia president or prime minister has announced this week that Bolivia will no longer respond to the demands or the blackmail of the United States the World Bank or the IMF haha <laughs> don't you just love that uh, the IMF and the US dominated World Bank have been major players in the global economic landscape ever since their creation in 1944 this is where a group of people from all the countries who were allegedly fighting the World War II 
all got together and did trade deals. And yet the respective countries was allegedly fighting each other during the war. Of course we had the United Nations and uh, a, a number of other uh, organisations created between 1941 and 1945 when all these alleged people and their respective countries were all bombing each other not the elites um, these international banking organisations which are privately controlled by the notorious Rothschild banking family first pressure nations to deregulate their financial sector allowing private banks to loot their economies once the governments are forced to bail out their deregulated financial sector the IMF and or the World Bank sets up a loan package written in secret by central bankers and finance ministers that undermine the representative country national sovereignty and force them to adopt policies of austerity that harm workers, families and the environment. Like I said, they're the problem. Um, Bolivia is the latest what you will see between now and early in the new year is a raft of other countries doing and saying the same thing then you will know what we've been saying for the last three or four months that we have spoken to all the governments all 206 of them they're all on board they're not prepared to play the game anymore and are going to clean house once they've cleaned house then the collateral accounts will be opened up to all 206 countries so that's um, a few of the news stories going on uh, around the world at the moment that's all from the mainstream media like I said there is a sea of change going on and it's a very positive one for we the people and those of us in the alternative media who actually want freedom and uh, for the benefit of all and not just for the uh, service to oneself unfortunately we have in our, our midst but we all fight on right some uh, intel for you and then we'll have a single song music break and then we'll go into some Q&A's so we've mentioned this before but it needs to be reiterated of what's going on um, the Rothschilds are 100% in partnership with the Chinese elders uh, aka the Asian faction um, and that being said both of these parties all the way up through the covens and the family masters now know they do not have any capacity none zip nada to release even one dollar for any purpose to include but not unlimited to the reserve um, currency the revalue uh, currency or the GCR I'll repeat that again as I got me tongue tied a bit um, both parties all the way up through the covens and the family masters now know they do not have any capacity to release even one dollar for any purpose to include but not limited to the RV stroke GCR they can't do it period and consequently they're doomed Rothschilds are the ones guiding all the people they owe money to towards the people they crown as the Chinese elders this was took place last week in Reno with all the big hitters and all the military people yes US military you know who I'm talking about I know you listen 
uh, went there with a fistful of dinars and the mercenaries the hired contractors and they got nothing well he did get something um, a very red face not as red as the Chinese elders who realised they've got nothing in their account <laughs> I love it so Rothschild sent the Chinese elders as a stall technique so they don't lose power totally just keeping the illusion going the illusion's gone because you've already lost total power eventually you'll lose all so what the Rothschilds are doing are using them as the front patsies and fall guys to take all the bullshittery when stuff doesn't happen uh, message to the elders and the dragons people I hope you like being used as the Rothschild gophers if you don't step out and come and help humanity Rothschild's little gophers all the elders and all the dragon people well, you carry on you will find out uh, you backed the wrong horse so they both know exactly what they're doing meaning the Chinese elders and the Rothschilds stroke family masters and the covens they are all in on it they said they would um, report it this week they would rather see the entire world destroyed than to lose their power I have a message for them on that also it will fail most of their dodgy tech has been removed for the kill shot I would go as far as say as all of it has but that's my opinion and these clowns are still under the impression that they will be saved from any destroying of the planet by either hiding in the underground ET bases some of which uh, have been taken out recently or by the Draco coming back and picking them up so basically they think they are so important and so well loved by the Draco they would come to save them oh the irony the cabal after a saviour programme don't you just love it the cabal looking for a saviour programme the reptilians the slimy night lizards coming back to save them good luck with that was the not they went home literally with their tail between their legs last year they won't be retaining for you And this is uh, a bit more sad news and why I put the uh, warning out on the page there is a big push on now to steal more money from the alternative media community where they're using the alternative media to shout out lies that they've been paid out on dinars at top rates and the elders are celebrating and to go out and buy more dinar don't I said this was a bush scam three years back it hasn't changed bush stroke Rothschilds Roth bushes are the Rothschilds bagmen all proceeds of these dinars are being paid to the Rothschilds and their bagmen bushes so they can continue with their bullshittery so you're funding them 
you're not going to get rich on Dina. If you do, don't count on spending it. Because the programs that they will unleash will render you obsolete. Most of us. Now, we may implement something uh, in the near future where members of TH uh, and I who have a reasonable amount of DNAs not excessive I hope nobody's got excessive heaven forbid um, well, we'll, we will set a rate to buy them back off you uh, what we will do then is we will do a live video of us setting fire to every single dinar bought back the foundation people were going to invest 3.4 quadrillion on buying back 7 quadrillion of dinar last year and we're going to set fire to all of it reason being is it puts them back in the game the oil currency not gold backed oil backed this is why they want to take over the whole of the Middle East now recently the Chinese elders were offered 100 billion dollars from the Chinese government to stop interfering with government business the elders told them to F off I don't think the Chinese government are going to take too kindly to that in fact I know they're not going to take too kindly to that they have some fairly <laughs> stringent measures over there of dealing with people um, some of them uh, kind of bring tears to your eyes but there you go so this now proves that these Chinese elders and their dra bogus dragon groups have zero intention of helping humanity none whatsoever 100 billion would give everyone on the planet work and food so if he wants to help humanity and roll out the humanitarian packages they were given a choice and basically told the Chinese government to F off don't be following elders or dragons anymore those of you who are part of elders and dragon groups please make contact if you really want to help humanity you're not doing it being paid representatives for them groups dragon groups are operated by reptilians period so all those working with the Chinese elders and quote unquote European royals please feel free to contact your respective party and confirm this go and ask where the elders offered a hundred billion to help humanity and to stop interfering go and find out for yourself so anyone who has any access to the Chinese elders or the dragon groups who thinks they are here to save the American people or restore the republic it wasn't a republic it was a republic of China not America Aka Asian faction or save humanity those people need to go and ask their respective contacts and get direct confirmation that 
these people you work for or are paid by are basically full of bullshittery period A lot of uh, what came out uh, a few years ago, uh, a new term came out um, called black goo, intelligent metal or whatever it may the different names, like an oil intelligence, viscous. I can now report that the manufacturing facilities producing that material has now been capped off and no longer in production or potentially in use at this time another program shut down the Japan earthquake this week was cabal related we should have known when I outed it last week about the Kissinger meeting Trump who then warned him about um, not meeting the Japan Prime Minister Mr Abe because Mr Abe knows that Kissinger has been doing fraud over there on a massive scale laundering and also Kissinger instructed him that he was to become the Secretary of State for America uh, Mr Kissinger please do one you're next so they um, used the harp on Japan all there clear as day 10 kilometers same signature now this type of quake also has a way I'll have more details maybe in uh, a later show of enriching uranium that's why they did Fukushima well, I don't I haven't got the full details on that to expand on that but I will get more details if time allows to um, tell you more on that type of of why that takes place um, final bit of um, intel or something different this comes from the UBU people and uh, it's an assessment of where we are on this planet and what needs to be done or fixed and apparently there has to be a break this is uh, will help all you science tech people there has to be a break in the ionic magnetic bond that is currently between the north and south pole which extends out through the Van Allen belt they explain that by placing two poles which looks similar to drumsticks like a ball at the top and a long widening stick at the end at two different opposite ends of planet earth jutting from two points on or near the equator will stabilize the Teutonic or tectonic plates these uh, poles should go down 300 meters and up 600 meters this would also prevent the earth flipping or pole shift which is estimated to be 15,000 years away still but this should be put in place as soon as possible as it will also have positive effects in protecting us from electromagnetic fields in other words some of the dodgy tech again as electricity and other magnetic devices can all be replaced using this newly created free energy system 
uh, they further went on and says these electromagnetic charges presently are upsetting the didium which are the plankton type life form which exists in our oceans and plant life so by placing these um, poles it also it not only stops us having a pole shift it stabilizes the plates and has a positive effect on the people animals and plant life uh, so that's something to look forward for in the future rather interesting there'll be more of that those types of information put out as time goes on um, there is more but that one's been released for now uh, there is others that will be coming up right I'm going to have um, one song and then we'll be back with some uh, Q&A oh I nearly forgot the other one that bites the dust well, I've now had full confirmation the original entity known as George Soros is now dead sometimes you don't always get what you want but sometimes we get what we need hi all and welcome back to the final portion of the show uh, I'm sure you liked that, that last piece of news um the original entity known as Soros is now dead and confirmed by two separate sources um, we wanted extra sources or I did for full confirm and the man with a face like a melted candle has blown out of the wind bye he had a choice they all had and were given a choice this year some of the choices um, in my opinion were over the top kind of sickening really given what they've done but if it brings a, a speedier solution and they're not interfering with humanity anymore then the non-violent way is always the better way we don't have to go down the same route or we shouldn't go down the same route as what they've done but there comes a time when they overstep the boundaries way beyond Mr Soros was causing chaos with his bogus protests Black Lives Matter Trump protest amongst others and uh, he paid the price so uh, he's not the first and he won't be the last either you can count on that one right some questions why are the Clinton Foundation and the organisation of George Soros not being put on, uh, on hold and not under investigation um, the organisation um, of Mr Soros in my opinion will now collapse as for the Clinton Foundation, do not believe the media um, rap that it's not under investigation and Trump is not going after Hillary anymore. Trump may be right in that statement, but it's not Trump that's going after Hillary and that group. Oops. So that's still ongoing and will not go away was death a construct of the Draco not totally no it's um, partially then but not all down to, the, to that particular group a lot of it has been organised by humans on, at the, on their behalf via religious constructs via death if you don't um, cough up your money to the church you will die of uh, a horrible death and you'll go to hell and all that 
fear, fear, fear. Um, death is a new beginning, not an end. But these same uh, people who have taught us to fear death are the ones who have been cheating it. And they're trying to implement the next round of cheating via transhumanism. Getting, turning everyone into walking robots. Many still in the movie, and sadly some of them not in the movie, are doing that same act. Walking round with technology in front of their face. Get out of the habit. You know, we all like the phones to a degree. But please stop looking at it every few seconds of the day. For those of you who use the phones quite frequently, log down what is actually written in a given day and see if any of those statements on either side or of any real relevance or is it just a distraction from what's really going on around you you'll be surprised a lot of it is just a pile of crap and too many of us jump into it far too easily I myself didn't have a dumb phone uh, until two years ago and I was I had to do it as part of my work and it gets used for work only I'm not on it all day I don't go on Facebook on it uh, and I don't go on the Skype either otherwise I get no work done it's all distraction put it down most of the, the drivel that's written backwards and forwards is just that Stay away from me. Until we get the technology or the Wi-Fi that is non-harmful. Non we do have that tech. Is Billy Meyer truth or fiction? A bit of both. Um, the original, uh, in my opinion, he had experiences and then he was introduced into the fiction to expand the story which then loses the message of the original as more and more you expand the more and more it become, becomes a lie and so, so then most people will throw the baby out with the bathwater. see how they do it so it, originally yes but I believe that the follow on a lot of the follow on meetings were bogus which had uh, an ongoing effect to then negate all, all of his information uh, what can you tell us or decipher of the Economist 2017 magazine cover I had a quick look at it I didn't uh, go in, I haven't had much time again this week um, if I get time next week and I come up with anything I will have it in the next show some uh, interesting things about loops um, I noticed that straight away um, bye bye loops um, Mr Robert Curry says he loves me um, I, I, I thought I, I'm going to mention something last week I met one of the members who doesn't normally post on the page in fact I think he only uses his wife um, Facebook page and uh, we had a rather uh, pleasant meal and he asked a load of questions and I gave him a load of answers and um, uh, right at the end um, he said something that it kind of makes it all worthwhile for me he said I was an ins inspiration to him and many others and um, being a Brit I'm not too comfortable with compliments 
but just that one line uh, meant a lot to me. I've gone through a lot. Uh, you do go through a lot being in the front line in the alternative media. Um, some of it gets put out in the public, um, but a lot of it gets covered up. But the fun and games that go on behind the scenes uh, would make your toes curl many times. And the fact that uh, he chose to feel that way makes all the shows I've done worthwhile. Just that one comment. You know, um, but we're here to inspire each other. That's the idea. You know, um, I can't do it all alone. You know, without the listeners, we have no show. I'm just talking into an empty void. So the show is about the listeners, not just about me. And uh, so that was rather encouraging. So Mr. Curry loves me as well, and that's nice. Um, and he's stating that the Dakota Pipeline is now drilling under the Missouri without Army Corps' permission. I've had this checked out and um, they have suggested that that is not correct. Um, whatever the hearing is not drilling under the Missouri. Um, they don't not do that. Trust me. So now uh, the Army Corps will send somebody else regardless to check and we'll deal with it. And now we've got US military and veterans attend, attending on December the 4th. We'll see what they're made of. So maybe um, the panic for action is um, not required currently. But yes, it is an important issue and it will be dealt with. Ah, uh, someone wanting Lily Earthling back on the show. I think she's really important at the moment to help us all ground ourselves due to the enormity of everything that's happening at the moment. I think a lot of the listeners and members could do with that on the show again. Uh, I know I could. Yes, John. I've spoken to Lily this week and asked her uh, to come back on the show. And um, she has new material coming up soon. And so we may arrange another show with Lily. Of course, Lily, um, I mentioned the drawing last week. Um, I was astonished to find out um, maybe 18, well, it's near two years since I was shown that original drawing in my um, dream time or in the spirit world. And... Um, Lily was shown the same thing five years ago, four or five years ago, the same pattern. So uh, certain ones are being shown things, in fact many are being shown things but not everyone comes back and remembers it. Uh, so it doesn't make any one of us special as such, just that some don't remember everything. So yes, um, I have asked Lily to come back on. The British government is going after the poor and disabled again. When will they stop? When the able-bodied people and the unpoor um, and the people of Britain decide enough is enough. You've seen what's happened. Uh, I mentioned in the news earlier. The people of Turkey, they did, weren't going to tolerate that type of ruler and campaigned against it. Simple as that whilst you, you all go about your lives or, or spend your whole day with a smartphone in front of your face everything continues the minute you step up and fight back they cower in fear more so now than at any other time in history they know we have them on the back foot big time So we will get more and more small victories, hoping that that pacifies the people. No, once we get one, we go after another. Then we go after another and go after another until we end this tyranny. 
simple as so it's up to the British people to go after the government and campaign against the people they selected and tell them you either change this or we're going to change you they'll soon get the message just takes numbers Is there a chance that Earth might reset herself again and start all over with new species? Yes, that was a possibility. Um, it's reducing by the year. We, uh, as I understand now, we will get a chance to look after ourselves. Ultimately, it's down to us that we... Um, become personally responsible for ourselves and each other not follow the same pattern of the cabal of control and domination and greed an earth with people looking after each other caring and sharing is what we want and what we need once we're doing that there's no need for any reset Ultimately, we'll get to a point where we will go out when we're responsible enough, which is not the case currently, and go out and meet amongst the stars. And maybe then a new species will come here and take over. Not hostile, just as a learning planet. Unless it's already been done, wouldn't it be worth creating a template of the establishment of the People's Club to aid the creation of similar foundations in other areas? Um, good idea, and I will bring it up with the foundation people. I would like, at a later date, but we need to get the American one up and running first, um, via the funding, but it's, um, once that's up and running, um, the foundation people are aware I would like to set something up in the UK and also in Ireland and see if we can get those people uh, help uh, maybe uh, something else around Europe each country will be given funds um, so yeah why not get the people club set an example and try it forward um Next question, will we see common law, Trump maritime law, with all the changes? I hope so. It has to be done. It has to be recognised that we're under British control and we have to take steps to eradicate that control system. You know, 1776 was bogus, whether we like that idea or not most of the wars that proceeded after it were also staged and bogus and we didn't win we being America we lost otherwise they wouldn't control our monetary or they wouldn't control our justice system if we either actually won those wars think about it they wouldn't be claiming our income tax back to the crown if we either actually won any of the said wars that you're taught in school we didn't we lost but the next one we will win and claim back this country as the Republic of America with no foreign entities running it Uh, there sounds like there are moves afoot by the Hitlery crowd to steal the election back off Trump. Is this happening? And, uh, do I know? Uh, I sincerely hope it's not. And why is this criminal not behind bars? Um, I didn't realise you could um, put someone in jail who is plastic. But there you go. 
Anyway, uh, yes, there are moves afoot by the Hitlery crowd, aka the factions, particularly the Rothschilds and the Asian group. They're not best pleased. And neither are the Bush group, because um, they went massive shorts, well, not only on Hitlery winning, but also on the stock market crash which didn't materialise and the US dollar crash which also didn't materialise they lost huge amounts of funds maybe Mr Soros decided to tell people to bet on it and they did and they lost maybe that's why he got taken out so let them carry on you know, I noticed the press are reporting already that Hillary is up by 2 million votes in the popular vote. Um, and uh, who cares whether she was 10 million ahead in the popular vote? That's not how the C elections are operated at this point. You know, they're bad losers, they go bad, aren't they? <laughs> You know, uh, suck it up. You lost. You know, only only the cabal can lose in a one-horse race. I hope they like that, because I do. Anyway, where are we next? If this has been answered, could someone point me to which show to listen to, please? But is the plan still in place, and can we expect mass arrests in the near future? Um, it depends on which plan. Uh, if it's the Drake plan, um, as it was laid out, I don't expect that to take place. It would have been... Um, suicidal had it gone ahead in 2012 as Drake laid out or as it was relayed to Drake please don't blame Drake it's not his fault it was as it was relayed to him but the idea that uh, behind that particular plan is that the military were going to mass arrest and change everything within 90 days they had plasma tech, they had all kinds of other uh, dodgy science fiction type weaponry including kill shot technology that the military were not aware of at the time that all had to be removed before anything could be done otherwise we go mass arrest them and they press the boom switch what use is that? so the plan is unveiling it's been ongoing all year, the plan. It's been done largely behind the scenes, which is, doesn't please some people. Um, but it is what it is. You're seeing sufficient evidence of what we've been saying as being correct. It is ongoing. People are being removed. Certain entities are being removed. Certain technology is being removed and certain false flags have been stopped, prevented market crashes have been stopped RV has been blocked global currency bogus reset blocked and on we go that's all this year the invasion of the Middle East blocked the Ukraine massacre blocked the Syria largely blocked eventually ISIS being wiped out as forecast on this show a thousand dead last week blocked, blocked, blocked and blocked so the plan is unveiling, it's just a different way of doing it to what was laid out by Drake, if that's who you're referring to if it's somebody else's plan again I'll say the same thing it's happening it's already started it's been ongoing a while and that's not to mention a lot of the um, in secret agreements that have already been signed like the peace treaty 
like the blocking of the trade, Pacific trade and Atlantic. They're all going to be squashed. So much is ongoing. And uh, I hope all of you see, and not just take my word for it, there's sufficient data now for us all to see that things are ongoing. Do you think the foundation will go live this year, or is it looking more like next year? Uh, thank you for having the show for the holiday. Many are pretty alone at this time, and we appreciate it. Um, it's a possibility this year. Um, I can't say too much at this time, because of course we've been let down by dates before. Not so much on this show, uh, but certain other shows. <laughs> And certain references to 14 days. I won't say. He, he uh, kind of ribs me over that. Um, but. I'm, we are hoping. It will go live this year. Thomas can you talk about the Montauk. Project. Um, the bits I know. Um. Um, is the time portal at Montauk finally completely shut down and are the ETs formerly working there no longer but able to interfere with anything at that location right Montauk came it's like is rolled into the MK Ultra and all kind of other dodgy programs and it was linked via a portal with plasma tech that went up to 7 or 8D and that's where it was being interfered with now in 2000 and um, trying to think around the time Bush senior went into hospital which was forecast because of his connections with that particular program um, the plasma tech and the machinery was destroyed and a load of the entities and humans were wiped out in the tunnels that collapsed in on them now that plasma anomaly was then dealt with back to its source and removed all in the same mission and there was remnants to deal with and as I understand it since then those remnants have been dealt with some of them ran underground but the machinery itself was um, rendered completely inoperable so when Cobra talks about certain plasma tech and he suggests some of it is still in place I beg to differ it was removed in the November of either 2013 or 2014 I can't remember the Pacific year but it was four days before Bush Senior went into hospital and never recovered he was there so a lot of it has been built up since for uh, to generate funds for certain individuals where they still think a lot of it is ongoing not from there it's not and certainly not that uh, plasma weaponry that they had so I hope that answers the question as for the time travel technologies being completely shut down uh, they've been negated to a point right um is Stephen Greer a reptilian 
Um, I won't be un unkind as to suggest that. But he is, he is a friend of the Clintons. And I'm going to say no more. Um, would you be able to inform us on shape shifting? Is it real? Who can do it? Natural or tech based? Both. Uh, only one of the um, group, the five Anunnaki group, can shape shift. It's not a normal thing, as I understand understand it. There's only one specific race that can shape shift. Uh, yes, it is real, but there's also um, it's not necessarily tech. It's more to do with abilities whereby um, let's use the Sasquatch some people quote it as seeing them and then they look again and it's not there and they disappeared without trace the reality is they're still standing there in front of you except they've been they've used their abilities to interact with your mind to see a plant, tree or bush and not the Sasquatch so that's some of the shape shifting some people have abilities to interfere with your brain frequency to send signals whereby you see them but they're not there they are there but you can't see them you will see a tree or a plant or whatever else screen that they put up in front of you so this is why they vanish or appear to vanish um, they're still there it's just that they've used their abilities so it's not necessarily technology it's their, one of their abilities that's the uh, Sasquatch so I hope that answers the question um, there are many stories regarding the recount of the votes yes um, they're putting forward one of them now it will get laughed out otherwise there will be uh, I would say a military uprising if that goes anywhere near being overturned so I wouldn't worry about it um, are the crimes at the foundation and the clones and belt going to be fully exposed I would say yes that's not gone away contrary to media um, bullshittery is there a pyramid in Antarctica? yes there is there's pyramids everywhere they're energy machines one day they might fire up and balance the planet out um, where are we next Are Lucifer and Sophia one of the same? No. Um, it's, has it been taught in an upside down and backwards fashion? Largely yes. I don't think we'll ever get the full real story. Some suggest Lucifer is Satan. Some suggest he is not. And that was, he was tricked. Uh, and there are others who believe that Lucifer was not male who is Luciferia and, was, and is actually female but Lucifer and Sophia no, are not one and the same Lucifer may have not been a man Here we go again into another round of Occupy like frenzy anti-Trump rallies and protests Well you may find that those protests and rallies may now end As the thunder has also ended um, We've seen many of these sudden and fully organised uprisings Yes, paid actors um, and the question is is this the cabal's last attempt at martial law yes it is 
will it happen? No. They haven't got the funds to do it. They've got even less funds as the Rothschilds stole all the American government's money last Tuesday. Some of it has been recovered and people will pay a price for doing that. Can the elite shift their souls into a new body so it's just the old body dying from the corrupted blood batch? Um, they can shift their souls out by um, selling their soul, literally, for fame and fortune into a Draco. So some of these people are now starting to break down. You've seen some of them come forward and saying some extraordinary things. Some of the actors and the actresses and the musicians. You may see a lot more come forward and say you also are likely to see a lot of them die off. Where the warning. Um, where are we next is Thaksin this is an old question I'm sorry I kept bumping it down um, Thaksin Shimonatra who's the Prime Minister of Thailand a Bush agent yes a bit like um, Ahmadinejad jacket of Iran or Iran as we say here um, they're all puppets have we lost one of them um, also will the laissez majest illegal to criticise the monarchy rule be lifted when the son claims the throne making his adverse he's able to speak out I'm unsure of uh, talent politics but I'm, I do not th uh, I do remember now I don't think the son will take over if he does he may not last long um why did the cabal allow internet to technology come to light and become something almost everybody uses because it was a control system it was trying to hook you all into the tech and the transhumanist agenda and it backfired because yes we um, chose to meet up and coalesce you know everyone says oh I'm not joining the Facebook page I don't mind listening to the show but I'm not joining the Facebook page I'm not getting involved in it but our page is booking the Facebook trend we're largely devoid of trolls and chills the members spot them straight away and shut them down so we've used Facebook against it There's a height of irony in that. You can use anything that's negative and turn it to positive by putting your own efforts into it. So they wanted to hook us into the web. It's called that for a reason. So we're all trapped in it. But the encouraging thing is they're the ones that are trapped can't get in and you can't get out cabal have a nice day and on that note um, I'm going to end the show a bit early tonight given it's um, bank holiday and you're probably all falling asleep now because you've had too much to eat and too much to drink and had a merry day so I hope the show was um, enjoyable and uh, a pleasant break to the festivities enjoy the rest of uh, Thanksgiving and we'll be back as normal next Thursday and hopefully with some more exciting news hopefully and uh, we're going to end with that one again I think yep so this has been the Truth, Honour and Integrity show. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
and uh, my name's Thomas Williams and if you lead life in love and care you will prevail if you lead life in fear and anger you will fail feel free for you to be the person you wish to be not the person who conforms to what others want them to be you are a multi-dimensional being operating simultaneously on many levels you are not here to conform you are not here to be stifled you are not here to be enslaved you are not here to be abused or to compete with your friends family or neighbours you are here to be the best you can be and do so as the crown of creation now go out with the confidence of who and what you are and excel in yourself and in doing so inspire others stay safe stay strong stay prepared and never let anybody put you in any fear my name is thomas williams bye for now